take a look at how we can save and load processes in GibbsCam. You notice I have a part up with three processes here on the left. These three processes use tools two, three, and four. And let's go ahead and do a simulation so we can see what's happening here. You notice we do some pre-drilling, then we do some roughing, and then finally do a victory lap uh, with the smaller tool to, to clean up the side stock that the rougher left. So three different processes. Suppose I want to save this processes or re these processes rather uh, so that I can use them in a completely different part. All I have to do is get over here in the process area and right click and I'm going to say save the process list. And I can go ahead and call this anything I want. I'm going to go ahead and call it pocketing. You notice it has a PRC2 extension on this file. Okay, so now I've saved this process and what I can do is I can go on and go to a completely different part now. So let me jump to that. You notice that this part is not even uh, a solid part like the last one. So uh, it doesn't matter as long as it's applicable um, in, in 2.5D, for instance, in this case, uh, we can go ahead and use it on wireframe geometry as well. So now I want to use that same uh, process or set of processes here in this new part. So all I have to do is go over to the process area again here on the left, right click and say load process. I'll go ahead and browse to the same location where I saved that, open that. And you will notice that it will go ahead and load up three tools, tools two, three, and four, and all the processes. All I have to do now is pick the geometry that I want to apply those processes to and hit do it. And if I go into OpSim now to go in and take a look at this, you'll notice that just like before, we pre-drill. We come in with the rougher at the pre-drill location through the pre-drill, and then finally come in with a smaller tool to clean up uh, the side stock. Okay, so it's that easy to go ahead and save and load processes in GibbsCam. One other thing I wanted to point out is the fact that um, when you process, uh, when you save a process, it saves everything exactly the same. Your tools are defined the same. Your feeds and speeds, your depth of cut, everything is saved as is. So what this means is I can go ahead and load a process that I've saved and then go on and modify if I want to change the depth of cut or, or anything else and then go on and uh, do it or redo as the case may be. So. Um, it's the best of both worlds. We can go in and, and, and save it exactly as it was, but then modify uh, whatever parameters we need to modify in order to get the desired results. So that's how easy it is to save and load processes in GibbsCam.